when we started, it was really about establishing relationships, having a contact, having good communication, letting them know that I was reachable. And really that first year we accomplished that. Kindergarten readiness is really the building block. It is the key, it's the fabric of what makes long-term academic success happen. So for us to achieve success on our bold goal one or on third grade reading, it is critically important that we start um, zero to five and ensuring kindergarten readiness. For us to really be an inclusive model, we need to make sure we're including all the partners, the parents um, that have these students to ensure that we're successful. And I think um, getting more information and more depth around those coalitions has been really important. Um, and I think it also sets the tone for how we move forward as a community. Our uh, kindergarten screening came about um, through our discussion at the Leaders Network meeting. We started talking about what other districts were doing. And we have developed friendships and relationships that outside even of our meetings, we communicate regularly. We'll ask each other questions, we'll share resources and ideas. And then also with SEI's data that they shared with us, it also gives us great places of conversation that when we go back to our readiness meetings, we're able to say, this isn't a feeling that we have. You know, this is, here's the number, here's the data point here, and this is what we know, all of these things are connected. Um, and I think that's another great asset and resource too. What's special is it empowers our community to come together to support two of our major goals, which is kindergarten readiness and kindergarten early registration. And so it helps make it an awareness piece for the community, and then they help us to figure out how to get the word out to accomplish those two goals. Back in January, we decided that the Book Doe cluster needed to do something to spark our kindergarten enrollment for the following year. And we had went to the summit um, back in November for kindergarten readiness and we were all pumped up about that. And we decided let's try something different with the funds that were allocated to all three schools. So we wanted to have a fair, something that no school has ever done before, tried to get our parents here early. We wanted something that would offer everything that they needed, one shop deal of coming to register for kindergarten on time so that when school started, bam, they would be there. We first met with pastors and tried to, tried to see the needs of, of the community in general. We definitely wanted to involve the daycares that surrounded each school's community to be involved. So we sent out flyers and um, invited them to our uh, first group meeting. And from there, we just started brainstorming. The Readiness Coalition has provided me with an opportunity to come to the classrooms and observe what my program, the Foundations, is, uh, and it provides an opportunity to see what it will become. It also provides an opportunity to network with other preschool teachers within the community and the teachers in the building so that it provides cohesion for us. Our Readiness Coalition has been a catalyst really for making quite a few changes uh, with the mission of engaging our families earlier and more often. So as a part of that, we have changed our registration process. We have made it more of a resource opportunity for our parents. We also have invited our pre local preschool providers. So we have local preschool directors and teachers here as, again, a familiar face for those incoming parents. One of our uh, area goals was to really target parent engagement. And the Readiness Coalition had all of these ideas and of activities and things that we could do. And so we hosted a night in the spring and had over 50 families come. And so we're gonna do that quarterly. We also invited all the preschools and daycares um, to participate as well. So we'll continue doing that. And that all came through conversation around the table. Yeah, it was great to see the East Cluster um, at Compass Coffee uh, a few months ago um, and to see the collaboration amongst all the organizations that came together to make that work. 
Well, I think anytime you can bring together um, the stakeholders that are uh, included in educating our children, it, it's a great thing. Um, when when you have that synergy of organizations who are willing to work towards that common goal of educating our, our young children, it's always a positive thing. And, and that's why Akron Community Foundation feels very strongly about supporting the work, not only of SCI, uh, but specifically of the readiness coalitions. We know that success for kindergartners begin before they start kindergarten. And so by working with our community partners, we use what we would call a backwards design. We start with our goal in mind, which is for them to be successful kindergartners. And then we think, now how do we get there from crib, as we would call it, even prenatal care? How do we get those partners to the table? I think my favorite part of being involved with the Readiness Coalitions is um, seeing everybody come together and find out what their needs are, um, what their concerns are, and then working toward that goal together. Folks like SEI are, are pulling this together and giving us the opportunity to sit down and talk with each other and kind of facilitating so that it doesn't stall. It's been nice to see that we're all kind of in this together and see that we all have a role. I truly believe that our children in Woodridge and also in the county are our greatest asset for the future. And they're so important that we do our very best for them. And now we have data from SEI knowing with the TSS and with KRA and with the third grade reading test, we know that if we help students knock it out of the park coming into kindergarten, they're gonna have great success the whole way through and then in the future also. And so the idea of investing early is essential. And the more we can communicate and talk and share ideas and be excited and be positive and be passionate, the greater chance we have for our kids, which is what it's all about. Mm -hmm.